from director David Fincher, the guy who directed Girl Dragon Tattoo, The Social Network, and Fight Club, Panic Room, and one of my favorite movies of all time, Seven. Now, he's back. Gone Girl. This is a new crime thriller. It's kind of like Prisoners. If you remember my review of Prisoners, I get that movie a lot of good glory. Prisoners is a great movie. This movie is sort of like that, but it's not a kidnapping, or is it? You don't know. So I'm gonna be. S I'm not gonna try to spoil this movie to you guys. I'm not. I'm trying not to. It is about Ben Affleck and the girl from The World's End. They are a couple. They. You, they, you see flashbacks of them um, loving each other and getting married and all kind of stuff. And then. Bam. One day he comes home. The glass. I mean, the table's broken. There's a, there's a few little blood stains on the wall. She's gone. You have no idea where she is. You don't know if she's dead. You don't know if she's kidnapped. You have no idea what happened to her. And so this movie is about Ben Affleck trying to find her alive or dead. But there is a total new story inside of that. Gone Girl, in my opinion, was a good movie. Gone Girl had that David Fincher style cinematography. It was dark, and there was a scene with a knife, and it was brutal. If you see it, you know what I'm talking about. It's near the end of the movie. That part was, ugh, got under my skin. This movie is good. It is. It's got some really good acting. Ben Affleck does a really good job. He's sort of a dick, honestly, but he does a really good job. He does a really good job. I, I think Ben Affleck was a, did a really good job. The girl. The girl. I don't know her name. Roseman something like that. She did a really good job. She almost stole, she kind of, she stole the show. She was so freaking good. And I want to spoil it, but I can't why she did so good. I can't, guys. I can't. But this story is really freaking good. Like, it is interesting. You gotta notice every detail. It is like prisoners. It is, you don't know who did it. Who, where is she? It is so interesting, and it builds all the way up. This whole movie, you're like, it's building, it's building, it's building. And then the last three minutes of this movie, in my opinion, was a disappointment. <sighs> like, it, I was so, in, I was like, I was sweating, guys. I was, I was like, oh my god, what's happening? What's gonna happen? It ends. It, I mean, it does have like one of those endings, but, ha like, you... It's not a. Uh, it's not like prisoners. Spoiler for prisoners. Spoiler for prisoners. He whist the whistle blows and he like looks away and he's trying to see where where he is and it goes black. That ending I like. I like that ending. You know he might have find him. This ending though, it it wraps everything up. Yes, but it just ends. It was not satisfying in my opinion. The, how I wanted to go on. Like this whole movie, you're building like, oh my god, this is so interesting, so good, good acting from Ben Affleck, the girl from the world's end, Tyler Perry, almost got him. Tyler Perry did a really good job. Um, Neil Patrick Harris, he did good. He wasn't in it much, but he did really good. I, I liked him. There was a lot of good acting, and the girl from Leftovers was in it. It was so interesting. There was twists and turns every freaking 20 minutes. And then the ending. The ending just wasn't satisfying. I wanted this to happen, but no. This happened because of this, so it ends like that. I didn't want that. That is my only freaking problem with this movie. I, it, it might be a lot of talking, but it's so interesting, Go though. Overall, I like the movie. I do. It's got a really good story. It's got really good acting. Thing is, it's not a seven ending. It's nothing like Fight Club ending, seven ending. It's not a big twist. Well, yeah, it's not a big twist. It just wraps a little stuff up, and then you're like, oh, that's going to happen, and then it ends. You're like, so that's what happened. And, you, and I wanted something else to happen to someone else. I might just do, oh, my gosh. Okay. This movie is good. It just was a disappointment ending. That's, that's my review. So, is it worth seeing? Yes, it's worth seeing. I, I would say go see it. It's It might be a little boring, you might say, but it's still really freaking interesting. I'm going to give this movie a very high 4.5 out of 5. That ending just really didn't do it, guys. 
If 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 this would have the thing I wanted to happen, I would have might have been a little bit more happier. I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. Sorry it's one day late. See you guys next time. Bye guys.